Zhang Zi, Chinese actress and model. Zhang Zi, sometimes credited Zi Zhang, is a Chinese actress, model, and former dancer. Known for playing independent and strong willed characters, she is the recipient of various accolades. Born and raised in Beijing, Zhang was admitted to the Central Academy of Drama in 1996. Born, 1979, age 45 years, Beijing, China. Spouse, Wang Feng, M, 2015 to 2023. Height, 5 foot 5. Parents, Li Zhoxing, Zhang Yuanxiao. Siblings, Zhang Zinan. Han Yu Pinyin, Zhang Zi. Zi Zhang is a Chinese actress and model. She is best known for Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, 2000, Rush Hour 2, 2001, Hero, 2002, House of Flying Daggers, 2004, and Memoirs of a Geisha, 2005. She made her feature film debut in The Road Home, 1999. For her work in Memoirs of a Geisha, she was nominated for In Golden Globe for Best Actress. IMDb Mini Biography by Pedro Borges Family Spouse Feng Wang, May 10, 2015 to October 23, 2023, divorced, two children. Children Child Wang Xingxing Child Trivia Even though she has been in many kung fu movies, she is not actually a trained martial artist so in fact she uses many dance moves in her fight sequences. Her first appearance in an American movie was in Rush Hour 2, 2001, but as she didn't speak English, Jackie Chan had to translate everything the director said to her. In that movie, her character's name, who Li translated from Mandarin Chinese, is Fox. Is global ambassador for Special Olympics movement. She joins a select group of celebrities who are dedicated to spreading the Special Olympics message, including California Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger, boxing legend Muhammad Ali, and Olympian Nadia Comaneci. Was listed in Time Magazine's World's 100 Most Influential People. They called her China's Gift to Hollywood. Graduated from the Beijing Dance Academy. Her father is an economist and her mother is a kindergarten teacher. On November 21, 2006, the Wall Street Journal voted her one of its top 10 remarkable women in Asian business circles. The newspaper commented that although Zhang Zi is not a typical business leader, she has great influence on the entertainment industry. Graduated in acting from Central Drama Academy, the top acting college in China. September 2004, taking lessons to improve her English. Joined the Beijing Dance Academy at 11 and the Central Drama College at 17. Was a member of the jury at the 2006 Can Festival. Mother, with her ex-husband Feng Wang, of daughter Wang Xingxing, B. December 27, 2015, and a son, B. January 1, 2020. Forbes magazine's China edition recently ranked her the second most popular celebrity after NBA player Yao Ming, August 2004 is one of 112 invitees to join AMPAs in 2005. Name is pronounced Jang, rhymes with Young, Zi. Sayuri, her character from Memoirs of a Geisha, 2005, served as the inspiration for Mattel's gold label collector doll, Maiko Geisha Barbie. Named by Entertainment Weekly in their The Must List, 2005. Listed 38th out of the 122 people and things the magazine loves this year. Z was the only Chinese to be included, was included in People magazine's 100 Most Beautiful People in the World the second year in a row in 2006. This is now her third appearance on the list. Former spokesmodel for Tag Heuer Watches Was ranked second of the 100 Sexiest Women by FHM Taiwan, 2001. Was ranked one of the 100 Most Beautiful Women in the World in the July 2005 issue of Harper's and Queen magazine. It was her first time on the list. She was ranked number 15. Selected by Southern People Weekly magazine as Chinese top 10 leaders of the younger generation in 2005. Spokesmodel of Maybelline, Cosmetics. Was named one of the 25 hottest stars under 25 by Teen People magazine, 2001. Former spokesmodel of Pantene Shampoo. 
listed in People Magazine's 50 Most Beautiful People list in 2005. Voted in at number 100 in FHM Sexiest 100 Girls of 2002, UK edition. Family includes Li Zhoxing, mom, Zhang Yuanchao, dad, and Xenin Zhang, older brother. Former spokesmodel of 2%, Korean Mineral Water. Former spokesperson for Coca-Cola, Asia. Was voted in at number 86 in FHM Sexiest Women in the World in 2006. She had not appeared in the list since 2002. Ranked number 91 in Stuff Magazine's 102 Sexiest Women in the World, 2002. In Winnipeg, Shooting Horseman, 2009. In L.A. Shooting Memoirs of a Geisha, 2005. Former spokesperson for Lenovo Computers. Was named one of the 25 hottest stars under 25 by Teen People Magazine, 2002. Since in China the last name is put before the birth name, this turns her in Zhang Zi, while in the Western and Latin countries it's written Zi Zhang. Quotes In China, we don't consider someone truly beautiful until we have known them for a long time, and we know what's underneath the skin. After Crouching Tiger, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, 2000, there was a big change for me, with all the attention thrust upon me. I got lot of work. My first Hollywood film, Rush Hour 2, 2001, and a lot of advertisements in Asia. I think for me, it's a very good part of my life. I've been lucky, because I've had great characters to play. Now I really want to work with good directors. You know, I never think I can become an actress. But it happened. Not because I dreamed it, but because it happened. It's my first time in a lead, and I have to speak English in a Japanese accent. On Memoirs of a Geisha, 2005. It was so hard working for him, but I like the challenge. We don't learn the script, every day we had to, erm. Improvise. On Working with Wong Kar Wai in 2046. For Western women, it's much easier to be yourself. If you want to do something, you just go and do it. In an Asian context, women are still much more modest and conservative. I want, through my roles, to express the parts in the hearts of Chinese women that they feel unable to let out. Chinese women are much more modest than American women when it comes to clothes. We tend to show less flesh. I've discovered that I value simplicity above all in dressing. I don't like anything I wear to be too complicated or fussy. Even though I've done Hollywood films, I still don't think of myself as a Hollywood actress. I always think it's really hard if you are Asian, or Chinese, to be really in Hollywood. There are not so many really great characters for you. I always think you are lucky to get offered, something like, Memoirs of a Geisha, 2005, but I don't think it will happen all the time. But I enjoy being an actress a lot, because I can feel different women's lives. I have the chance to feel like a geisha one day, and on another day, maybe a scientist. That's the interesting part for me. My profession has helped me to grow up. I don't like kick-ass stereotypical roles. I already turn a lot down, even when they promise me a lot of money. I really want to do something in Europe. With a small movie, it can be an interesting challenge. But I have to get the right project. I don't think it's so important to go to Hollywood. All that trash that comes out of there. I don't want to do that. Working in Hollywood, it's clear the more money you have, the more technology you can get. So you can build a whole Japanese set. Only in Hollywood. I couldn't believe the first day I walked on the set. Rob Marshall walked me like a tourist round the set. It took 40 minutes, so how big was that? Today, it can be winter, and tomorrow, summer. Everything's unbelievable. It was my publicist's idea. Either way. I'm still me, right? On changing the order of her name, from the Chinese style Zhang Zi to the Western style Zi Zhang, 2004. In response to the offense at the controversial casting in Memoirs of a Geisha, a director is only interested in casting someone he believes is appropriate for a role. For instance, my character had to go from age 15 to 35, she had to be able to dance, and she had to be able to act, so he needed someone who could do all that. I also think that regardless of whether someone is Japanese or Chinese or Korean, we all would have had to learn what it is to be a geisha, 
because almost nobody today knows what that means, not even the Japanese actors on the film. Geisha was not meant to be a documentary. I remember seeing in the Chinese newspaper a piece that said we had only spent six weeks to learn everything and that that was not respectful toward the culture. It's like saying that if you're playing a mugger, you have to rob a certain number of people. To my mind, what this issue is all about, though, is the intense historical problems between China and Japan. The whole subject is a landmine. Maybe one of the reasons people made such a fuss about geisha was that they were looking for a way to vent their anger. Salaries Rush Hour 2, 2001, $450,000 Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, 2001, $130,000, from Chinese Currency The Road Home, 2001, $270,000, from Chinese Currency